What's up, Yash Gamers? Robert the Bruce here, and today we are talking about smart movement. Now, this is core TDM, and I'm busting up fools with the A91 suppressed. Same basic ninja class you guys have seen me run before, smoke, motion balls, etc. Now, I've talked plenty about this class before, so like I said, today we're talking about how you move through the level. There are several things to consider here, like how much do you move around, what routes do you take, what signs can you look for to know if a route is a good one, etc. Now, starting at the top, how much do you move around? Now, this is a bit subjective because everyone's playstyle and skill level is going to differ. Now, some people thrive on running and gunning, while others do very well taking things a bit slower. And neither one is, quote, the right way, but it's important to recognize what type of player you are and stick to that. I personally say that in TDM, you want to be moving fairly constantly. You will stop moving to reload, regain health, or take stock of your surroundings if you've gone through some chaos and need to regroup your thoughts. Otherwise, keep it moving. The longer you are in one place, the more likely it is that an enemy is flanking your position. Now, you want to be the flanker and not the flanky? Sure, I'll call it that. Now, what routes do you take? Well, again, this is partially determined by your loadout, but for me, I look for routes based on this list, starting with the most important and going down. Now, first and most important, safety. Second, how many of my teammates are already along this route? Because I want to avoid them. Third, speed. How quickly will it put me behind enemy lines? Now, safety is first, because if you're dead, well, Metallica said it best, uh, nothing else matters. Now, I want to avoid teammates, because in Team Deathmatch, I play better solo, typically. And finally, I want it to be as quick as possible, or the spawns might be switched by the time I get there. Now lastly, here are a few things I look for when determining a route. What kind of cover do I have along the way? Even if there is lots of cover, how visible am I while passing through? How good will the flanking position be if I make it? And are there unsuppressed teammates of mine along the route drawing the enemy's attention? Run through these questions when you're quickly surveying your options. With little thought, your flanks are much more likely to be successful, which means way more kills for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in. Good hunting out there, and as always, I'll see you on the battlefield.